this DVD is highly lifted up. It's a powerful project to my life and to my heart. I was worshiping the Lord one day and the Spirit of God drew me to Isaiah chapter 6 where Isaiah says in the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord and he was a highly lifted up, he was seated on a throne and as I was worshiping the Lord this song came which is the theme song of this project and one would then ask how can we praise a God who is highly lifted up? Um, because we need to give him the praise that is due to his name. I've, I've observed a somebody who leads worship in the house of the Lord that there are two aspects that are beginning to be eroded out of our worship. or wholehearted dancing to the Lord and the lifting up of holy hands to the Lord. Those two, dancing with all your heart. In Second Samuel chapter 2, in Second Samuel chapter 6, we encounter David, a king, number one. Number two, a man dancing with all his might. The Bible says he was dancing with all his might to the Lord. To the extent that his wife was actually laughing at him. That he was dancing shamelessly. And he then answers and says, I will even be more than that. I will humble and debase myself and even dance much more than that. I will lose my dignity as I dance for the Lord. I believe the Lord needs us to bring a sacrifice of dancing with freedom and liberty because where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. So I'm saying to the worshiper out there, it's time we cultivate the practice of dancing to the Lord with all our strength, with all our hearts, with all our minds as a sacrifice unto the Lord in the manner in which King David gave himself in total release and abandonment in worshiping the Lord. What about lifting up holy hands? In Psalms 141 verse 2, David says, the lifting of my hands is like the evening sacrifice. The lifting of my hands is like the evening sacrifice. I lead worship across the denominational divide. And I've noticed this habit and culture of lifting hands in total worship is also being eroded. Many times people, their hands are down. But I believe God is looking for the worshiper whose hands are lifted up. I always say, lift them up high, full mast. In our nation, when a hero has died, all flags are flying half mast. But when the hero, when, all he, when there is no bereavement, the flags are flying full mast. And I want to say to you, Jesus Christ, our hero, he rose, he's reigning. There's no need for the flags, which are symbolized by our hands, to be half mast. But they need to be lifted full mast to the Lord, full length, in total abandon, in total liberty, as we lift our hands to the Lord. So David says, come bless the Lord, O ye servants of the Lord, who stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands to the holy place and bless the Lord. That's Psalms 134. So we need to lift our hands in total praise. It's the evening sacrifice. Remember on Mount Carmel, it was the time of the evening sacrifice when the fire fell down to consume the sacrifice. It was the time of the evening sacrifice when Jesus Christ was on the cross and it became dark and the curtain was torn from top to bottom. It was the time of the evening sacrifice. So as we lift our hands, full mast, full length, high up there, it's an expression of surrender, an expression of dependence of God, on God. It's an expression of total worship to the Lord. Two things, lift your hands high up. That's yada praise, toda praise. Toda is when things are not well, but you still lift your hands to the Lord. A story is told by the mother of the, 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 the Charles Wesley, John Wesley boys. It is told that whenever there was no food in the house and things were not well in the house, the mother, what she would do? She would lift her hands, walk, pace up and down with her hands lifted high up in the air, two hours, praising and worshiping God with hands lifted high up and always a miracle would happen. So imagine your hands are not for decoration. Your hands are supposed to work. 
during praise and worship. Lift them high to the Lord and worship him. Give him a sacrifice, the sacrifice of your hands. Psalm 63, verse 4. I will lift my hands to your name. So, child of God, dance for the Lord with all your strength, all your might, all your heart, with everything to you with that is within you. Dance unto the Lord as an offering to the Lord, not to yourself, but to the Lord, not for the next person, but to the Lord. And then what else? Lift your hands in total abandon, in total worship, because he is highly lifted up and he is greatly to be praised. May God bless you as you listen and you watch. And may your life be lifted up because we believe God is also there to be lifted up. And when we lift him up, he also lifts up our lives from the ashes, from the dunghill, from the sorrows of life. He will lift you up as you lift him up. God bless you.